Thank you for checking out crypto.chartguys.com, the source for technical analysis in the cryptocurrency world. We are proud to announce our own crypto alert system designed to give you the most critical technical trading information possible no matter where you are. Keep your eyes on the market with mobile or email alerts for MACD crosses, RSI levels, and even inside bar alerts for dozens of coins across multiple exchanges. New features and proprietary chart guys indicators are already in development. Our alert system is very easy to customize and utilize, so don't hesitate to sign up for the most effective crypto trading tool on the market at crypto.chartguys.com. Hello, crypto friends. Hope you're doing well. We're going to be looking at the big three. We'll take a look at Verge because that's a good example of a sell the news situation, which happens all the times in stocks and cryptocurrency. And we're going to look at this news from the New York Attorney General. He is launching an inquiry into cryptocurrency exchanges. We've had this talk before, whether regulation is good or bad, there is no right or wrong opinion. If you are a trader, you want regulation. I'm a trader. I want regulation. I want to be more comfortable with these exchanges. I want to be more comfortable putting more capital on these exchanges. And if that is the case, and we do have some sort of regulation on these exchanges, you will see more stock market money come into them. Again, it's two completely different scenarios, blockchain technology and the price of cryptocurrency and trading cryptocurrency. They're two completely different worlds that don't really have a ton to do with each other. And we need to be, a, you know, which goal do you have? Do you want to see blockchain thrived in an unregulated market? Then you don't want regulation. If you want to be a trader and profit and see more money come into this space and have some more security, you do want regulation. So we have this question of USDT. Is it legitimate? Bitfinex. I don't know. I haven't done enough fundamental research to have a firm opinion on it. But I know that if Bitfinex has to send documents to the attorney general or the SEC or whoever it is proving that USDT is legitimate and they're allowed to stay in business, then I know that I can trust USDT a lot more in that situation. This is all coming from somebody that does not trust the government at all. I don't trust after the financial collapse and... I mean, really, when it all started back, how many years ago? 12 years ago when I read The Emperor Wears No Clothes, good book about industrial hemp, but watching the history of industrial hemp and what the government has done to it to lie and, and you know, based on companies and money and all that fun stuff, I haven't trusted the government since. But this is an instance where it would be, it would add legitimacy to the trading space, plain and simple. All depends on what your goals are and what you want. And my opinion comes from a trading perspective because I am a trader. So... That's where we stand, and we have a bearish reaction to this news on Bitcoin, which is allowing for more extreme short-term RSI levels. We're going to start on the four-hour time frame on all these charts because that's the pattern we've been watching. And of course, I'm on the five-minute chart. There we go. Head and shoulders pattern. So in the video yesterday, we were about this candlestick in, and we said, even if we do bounce here and hold the four-hour higher lows, watch the bearish reversal head and shoulders pattern that's standing up. Again, it's very early in development. It just stands out visually to me. And if... I want to give a shout out. I, I did this on Twitter, a shout out to technical analysis. And again, this isn't saying, hey, look at me. I'm always right. This is me saying, look at how technical analysis can be utilized to make money and to, to have clarity and to know what's going on. And if you give me the last seven videos that we've made over the last week, and you give me someone who is skeptical of technical analysis, but has an open mind, is not you know too stubborn to just ignore every word I say. Give me that situation and a room for three hours, and I promise you I can convince anybody the technical analysis is worth learning. And uh, so it's a great history lesson the last seven days. Honestly, it's been really on point. The setups have been clear. The most favorable, the most probable outcomes have been clear. And for the last week, that's how it's played out. The most probable outcome has played out. So I have had, in my opinion, complete comfortability in this trading pattern, knowing what to do, knowing when to be patient, knowing when to enter trades. I've entered and exited trades twice in total, obviously with scaling out at different times, but it's just been really easy. And if I had to, like I said, if I needed a, a firm, clear signal of technical analysis, I should say a history of technical analysis and how it ended up playing out, I would use the last seven days of video. So if you are truly adamant about learning, go back, Watch the video a week ago, watch the breakout that happened, watch the next video, and then watch how the next 24 hours played out and do that video after video. It's going to take a lot of time. It'll probably take you, you know, a week plus of studying. It'll take a bunch of hours, but it would be a really good lesson in reviewing how it exactly played out and how we could anticipate what is going to play out based on the most likely scenarios. So here is the confirmation of the bearish reversal four hour head and shoulders pattern by breaking the neckline of 7,906. 
the news of that attorney general likely helping. I did just enter a trade and I am in a small position right now. So the hourly time frame, we topped out. Here's when the news comes out, the volume dumps. And the reason I entered into a trade, when we first saw this 15 minute time frame and we built a base right here, I said, eh, I don't really like this setup. It is likely going to see a short term bounce, but I'm going to wait for the longer term consolidation and just patiently wait for the daily higher low to form that we know is going to form. It's just a question if it's going to form in the next day or two, or if it's going to take three or four days to play out. So I wasn't planning on playing this bounce, but then I saw the weakness continue and I said, all right, if we get another leg down, this 15 minute RSI is going to be approaching single digits. And here it is still at 15. And so I said, all right, I'm very comfortable getting into a position with the RSI that oversold on the 15 minute time frame. So I scaled in some buy orders. If we saw another leg down, I did get filled in the 7, 8, 78 30s and 78 twenties. And I'm just going to do a quick flip here and lock in some taco money and then back to waiting patiently. But you give me that 15 minute RSI, I will. Again, that's just waiting for the trade to come to me. So the trade didn't come to me. I left it alone. And then I said, all right, if you're going to drop another leg down, that's the trade on a silver platter saying, here I am and I can play it. So at this point, break even worst case scenario, and we'll see how it plays out. So overall, let's go longer term picture. Daily chart, like I just said, daily consolidation is coming. It's very healthy at this point. We want to see declining volume. At this point, we do have declining volume today to yesterday. And tomorrow, if we see another consolidation day, we want it to be even less volume than today. We're going to back test these exponential moving average supports. Ideal if the bulls can hold those levels and remain strong. The next four hour support level that we're watching after the low down here, nice bounce follow through. And the next support level we're looking at is 7805, and that level did hold. So there's our now support level that we're watching. If 7805 holds, and let's get the magnet going. So 7805, and then I'm looking down at 7760. Those are the next two support levels. Four hour lower highs and lower lows is the current pattern. And when the four hour time frame gives us a higher low and a higher high, then we can be confident that our daily higher low is forming. Signal number one will be the hourly chart changing the trend to a higher low and a higher high. And signal number two will be the four hour chart. And that will give us a lot more confidence. So we're patiently waiting for the daily higher low to be found. And we're looking for a bounce here to set a lower high on the hourly time frame, a short term oversold bounce, and just being very patient. So over the past couple of days, we've seen that Ethereum has been the strongest name of the three. And because of this, we have not broken bearish yet on Ethereum. We had a lot more space to pull back while maintaining support. 498.29 is still holding. Four hour higher lows are still holding on Ethereum. And there is bulls still, are absolutely still in full control. So no confirmation of the pattern. Odds are it will pull back. But again, it won't be as significant as the Bitcoin pullback as we're already seeing. And... This is from this morning when I was talking about the potential bearish reversal head and shoulders pattern that played out for Bitcoin, but not for Ethereum. This is healthy consolidation. Ethereum could be forming a bull flag on the daily time frame. Ideal would be to hold these exponential moving averages and then see continuation. And volume is declining today. Daily inside bar currently forming. We'll see if that four hour support is able to hold to give us this daily inside bar. So overall, looking pretty good and still holding the pattern, but odds do favor the pattern more than more than like more likely than not breaking. But we'll see if that ends up being the case. We'll see how significant this Bitcoin oversold bounce ends up being. So Ethereum is still holding the pattern and Litecoin is still holding the pattern because Litecoin broke bullish. And I made this chart this morning on TradingView and I put this arrow in and I said, if Litecoin was where BTC and ETH are in this four hour pattern, we'd be right here. And obviously we were breaking out at that point, negating the bearish reversal head and shoulders pattern. And this is Litecoin playing catch up at this point. So Litecoin saw a spike could be a couple of reasons why uh, as to, you know, small fundamental events, but really it's just playing catch up in the sense earlier today, I counted the percentage from the last week, from the low of April 10th to this morning, Bitcoin was 22%. Litecoin, because of this breakout was 25%. At this point, Litecoin's probably right around where Bitcoin is and Ethereum was up 32%. And clearly the lead bull. But this was Litecoin playing catch up. And now in order to break the four hour higher low pattern, we have to break 125.11. That's not happening anytime soon. So both Ethereum and Litecoin still have a four hour higher low pattern. But if we look at the daily chart for Litecoin, we can see that it's still not too strong here where both Ethereum and Bitcoin broke well above their high of April 3rd, whereas Litecoin just barely broke above it and is now rejecting a bit with this consolidation. So it's very clear we are still seeing correlation to Bitcoin. It's just a question of, who does the correlation favor? And right now, the correlation to Bitcoin favors the Litecoin bulls and the Ethereum bulls because they are both holding it better on that four-hour time frame. 
So that's where we stand heading into tomorrow. Daily charts, healthy consolidation, oversold bounces are just for short-term flips. And a scenario that you could put yourself in some trades would be to put yourself into a scenario where if you're getting a, a position, so let's say I just got filled and my average position was about 7,825. If I was looking for the daily higher low to form at this point, which I am not, but if I were, I would just set my stop to break even and say, all right, show me what you got, bulls, turn around this trend and let's see that daily higher low form. And it looks like I need to head on over and set some sell orders in a near-term future on this bull move. So solid bounce on Bitcoin at this point from the low, 7.822. And actually, my average wasn't that low. My average is probably 7.835. Yeah, 7.830. Either way, now we're looking at a $100 bounce. So nice short-term gains. So let's now touch on wrapping it up, continuing to do good things. Appreciate everybody's messages as always. Today's good, do good things. I love supporting friends and their businesses, especially when they're trying to do their own entrepreneurial thing. And I'm going to post a link for this, but Moody Mountain Herbals would really appreciate if any of you uh, helped out my friends. They are a young couple that have had their first child a year or two ago and certainly love helping them out for that reason as well. But anything that you guys buy, I will match and double down on their order and then just give away gifts to a bunch of people. But what it is, it's just Palo Santo. It's a, a wood from South America, and it smells awesome. If you're using incense, you need to up your game and go to Palo Santo. Every morning, I'll burn a little bit before I sit down or right after I sit down at the computer and just get in the zone. So they've got Palo Santo as, as really cool little incense. It smells fantastic. They've got Palo Santo candles. They got shea butter, body butter, uh, muscle rub, salt bath soak so a bunch of cool things she does it all herself and she's a you know working with a, a baby definitely putting in a lot of hard work and and they're good products i certainly have a bunch myself so i'd appreciate if you help them out i'll put a link in the description and in the comments and let's see if we can give them a boost on their monthly sales so i appreciate everybody tuning in check out the site and we'll see you tomorrow